Just as the sine and cosine functions had negative angle identities, the other trigonometric functions also have negative angle identities. And in fact, you can get those negative angle identities knowing the sine and cosine functions. So, sine of negative theta is negative sine of theta, and cosine of negative theta is cosine of theta. So the sine function is an odd function, and the cosine function is an even function. And with these facts, you could actually get the rest of them. So let's do an example. Tangent of negative theta. Well, all we need to do is just make the substitutions. We know that tangent is sine of theta over cosine, or sine of negative theta over cosine of negative theta. Then we use the relationship here. The sine of negative theta is negative sine theta. Cosine of negative theta is cosine of theta. And you can see that the negative sign comes out, and you're just left with negative tangent of theta. And so the tangent function satisfies this property, and it is an odd function. We can work our way around the rest of these. I'm going to do them very quickly. So cotangent of negative theta is going to be cosine of negative theta over sine of negative theta, which is going to be cosine of theta over negative sine theta, which is negative cotangent theta. And the secant and cosecant ones are actually even simpler because there's only one function involved. So secant of negative theta is 1 over cosine of negative theta, which is 1 over cosine theta, and that's secant theta. So secant theta is an even function like cosine. And the last one, cosecant of negative theta is 1 over sine of negative theta, which is 1 over negative sine theta, which is negative cosecant theta. So the upshot of all of this is that the cosine and secant functions are even, and the others are all odd functions. And so this is just a way of organizing this information. But typically when we run into these, the fastest way to do it is actually just go back and make these substitutions. If you use them frequently, then you would keep them in the back of your mind. But otherwise, just make the substitution. The calculation is not that hard.